seared tuna with a roasted red pepper sauce. Doctor, I like roasted red pepper. I like it in sauces. I like it as a sauce. I like eating roasted red peppers on salads, plain, everything like that. Fire roasting, are we good with that? I'm surprised. Why? Because it's good for you. Oh, is it really? Come on, we good? Yeah, we're good with it. All right, great. It is a dry cooking method. Normally, you can cook it over a flame. I'm going to show you a, a quick cheat for this. We're going to use tuna. What about tuna as a fish? Tuna is an awesome fish. Okay. It's a good fat. It's high in omega-3 fats, which most of us Americans need. It helps lower blood pressure, blood sugar. It will make you leaner. By all means, if you like it, eat it. <laughs> it'll make you leaner. Well, it'll make some of us leaner. Me, on the other hand, yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Let's, uh, let's add some olive oil into this pan. We're gonna, the first thing we're going to do is sear off the tuna. So we want to get the pan nice and hot, searing it off, sealing in the flavors. We're not going to cook this tuna to death either. Now, that pan's really ripping. You can tell by the smoke that's pouring out of it. And that's really what we're looking for. We're really looking for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray a little bit of the olive oil right on here directly so we don't have a sticking problem. I know that that pan's got a little bit of oil in it. And we're good with the olive oil. Yeah, oh yeah. I know you've taught me that many, many times. We're going to put this in and look to sear that off. So we want to build up some color on the one side of that. We're going to flip it over, sear off the edges, seal in the juices. Now we're going to use the same pan to make our roasted red pepper sauce in. All right, it looks like we're developing nice color. I am sort of peeking in on the side here to see some, some really nice color. We're going to give that a flip and see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. That's perfect. See how it's sealed off on the outside? You don't want to grab it too soon or it can stick to the pan, so you want to get that nice crust on there. Tuna, perfectly okay to serve medium rare. Perfectly, perfectly okay. Very I was popular. Ask you about that. Oh yeah, definitely. Very popular. This is a, a really nice, high-grade sushi tuna. You could eat this raw. You could eat this raw by searing it. We're just bringing out a little bit more of the flavor and something that's going to complement the the flavor of the roasted red pepper sauce a little bit more. Okay, we're good. I think we're just about there. What will happen with tuna and a lot of other fish? is carryover cooking. That carryover cooking, that fish is gonna to continue to cook just as it's sitting right there. Okay, I wanna get rid of this pan. I'm gonna save it though because we're gonna make our sauce right in here in just a minute, right after we get done roasting our pepper. Now, a lot of recipes call for canned roasted pepper. Uh, the healthy recipes you sent me over have uh, in water. Make sure that it's in water, not in oil, very specific. Can we do this? Absolutely. Oh. Using the olive oil, it's a good fat. All right, and look what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our own roasted pepper by putting it right on the flame. We're gonna, we're gonna burn the pepper, turning it around. You can put an oven rack or a little, um, a little grate on top of there to do this, but this is a very, very popular trick that chefs do in kitchens. We'll throw this right up on top of our high output gas burners and actually burn it right on the outside. Look what's happening. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to get that flavor. I wanna hold the flavor of the pepper itself together. I don't wanna roast it all the way through where we have a mush. I want to have a little bit of consistency to make this sauce that we're going to make. And we're just going to keep turning it. You can do this right at home. And this is safe? This is totally safe. You can do this on the grill, too. Do this right on the grill. Do it and slow it down a little bit. You're going to end up cooking the pepper a little bit more. But what's happening, this is a sealed vessel. It's building up steam on the inside. It's starting to cook the pepper from the inside out while we're adding that tremendous flavor, just like this. Here, popping. It's wonderful. No cause for alarm. <laughs> Oh yes, you hear that? You hear that sound? That's that really sizzling off and that's the color we're looking for. That's the color you see on roasted red peppers when you get them in a can. They put them in a blast oven. You're doing the same thing. Yeah, I think we're about there. We don't need a lot of this pepper. We're just gonna use a little bit of it. It's still gonna be a little bit warm, so we wanna be careful. We've got some of the nice roasted flavor. Smell it, it's got it, sort of that, that burnt flavor to it. That's yeah, what we're looking for. That's it exactly what we're looking delicious. for. Yeah, it's good stuff. So we're gonna take the outside off here, which as you can see, a little bit of steam is starting to come out of here. You see how that's starting to lighten up a little bit? We've held together the nice consistency of it, but we haven't, uh, um, we haven't cooked it to death. So we're still gonna get a really nice, fresh pepper flavor by adding that right there. That is the magic stuff, all right? I'm gonna put the pan back on. We're gonna start making the sauce. This is gonna be on the table in probably less than three minutes. Now, instead of doing this in the food processor, again, I'm doing this by hand because I'm looking for a little bit more 
character to the sauce, a little bit more, you know, bigger chunks of the roasted pepper. Well, you're like a human food processor. Anyway, so. <laughs> well, I want to do this quick because I don't want that pan to get away from me. This is a little bit warm. You could let it cool down a little bit, of course. The longer you let it sit, the more it's going to cook. Carryover cooking is absolutely going to happen with this as well. Now this is a lot of sauce for the amount of tuna that we cooked. By the time I'm done here, you'll have enough sauce easily for four people. All right. This is going to go right back in the pan. A little bit of garlic, roasted, my favorite. Eh, let's put the rest of it in there. That's not that much garlic. And you've told me that that's good for us, right? Garlic is absolutely good for us, and a lot of people believe it has antioxidants, which, of course, will improve your immune system. All right. I like an improved immune system. Okay. A little bit of chicken stock. Oh, yeah. That's what's supposed to happen right there. It's deglazing the pan. A lot of the flavors are coming out. Now we're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to this for color, for flavor. It's going to cook down. The flavor is going to alter in this when it cooks down. We're going to put this on a medium-high heat, boil it and reduce it, stirring it continuously for about five minutes, and then we're going to be ready for that piece of tuna. All right, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes right now. I'm happy with the consistency because I want to keep the shape of the pepper and, and some of the fresh flavor, and I've added water in periodically through it. If it gets too thin, you just add a little bit more water, and it'll keep reducing down and reducing down and reducing down. I think we've got a very, very nice flavor, and we're ready to go. Fresh roasted red pepper sauce to go with a beautiful piece of seared tuna. I'm happy. What about you, Doc? Lean protein, low in sugar. <laughs> smells delicious. Good for you. All right. All right.